Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings, to the We Are Change News Show. And you know, this morning I woke up, got my coffee, looked on Twitter to see what was trending, and yeah, the free press is trending, which, which yeah, generally is a good idea. Who would be against the free press? And as a fellow journalist, I've been falsely arrested, injured, threatened, assaulted a number of times, and have risked my life to tell you stories on this very YouTube channel. So duh, yeah, I'm all in for free press, but when I started looking into the hashtag of today, I found out that it's just a PR our propaganda effort based on lies. And that's why in this video, we are going to go over two of the most biggest contradictions when it comes to the free press hashtag. Now, before we start, since the free press is under attacks, especially independent journalists from the mainstream media pushing big tech companies to censor us and deplatform us, please make sure to go to wearechange.org forward slash donate since we mainly run on your donations and make sure to sign up on our email list, which we are not using and will use till the what looks like an inevitable deplatforming. <laughs> Now, the main reason why the free press hashtag is trending right now, it's because of 300 major news publications today decided to come out against, quote, Trump's attack on the press because of his rhetoric. And this initiative was started by the Boston Globe, who on their main page said that President Trump's politics is a sustained assault on the free press, and then listed statistics on how people don't like them and trust them in between some cheesy quotes and images from historical figures while documenting how many Americans view the news media as the enemy of the American people, how the American people believe that they're engaged in bad behavior, don't see them favorably, and don't trust them, while harping, whining, and moaning about how Donald Trump said mean things about them with no concrete evidence that I've seen so far of how, quote, Donald Trump actually attacked them. And one of the biggest hypocrites that I saw promoting this hashtag was, of course, former Secretary of State under Barack Obama, John Kerry, who said, quote, that he traveled to 91 countries as Secretary of State and said, believe me, the places where the press is under assault are the places where other freedoms are in jeopardy too. Never take it for granted, hashtag free press. Now, this is interesting for two major points. One, this is the same John Kerry who watched as a journalist who questioned him about voting fraud and his secret societies be tasered and dragged out of event for simply asking him a question while he just stood there long-faced not saying anything when a journalist was being attacked that journalist being andrew meyer who was inspired by all the we are change confrontations we were doing has previously worked with us before but no longer does and reminded john Kerry of that incident which uh, john Kerry then uh, later deleted the tweet point number two this is also the same john Kerry that was a part of the barack obama administration that has used the Espionage Act to put a record number of reporters with sources in jail more than all previous administrations before him combined. And now this man's gonna be lecturing us about the free press when even the Washington Post said and admitted that Trump does rage on about leakers, but Barack Obama was the one who prosecuted them. With even saying, quote, Trump is far from matching the total number of leak arrests of President Barack Obama, who rarely talked publicly about leakers until subpoenas were dropped and arrests were made. Even before Donald Trump was inaugurated, newspapers admitted if Donald Trump targets journalists, we could thank Obama. And that, quote, Trump could be even worse. And again, I have to clarify this because I am not a Donald Trump supporter. I have been extremely critical of him, especially with his foreign policy and ties to neoconservative warmongers. But looking at the facts here, when it comes to this specific issue, Trump has not been worse than Barack Obama. So where the hell was this hashtag and this outrage when the actual prosecution of journalism was happening? Because all I'm seeing here is just hyperbolic talk from, of course, both sides here. And the main issue that they're highlighting here is that Donald Trump said mean things about them. Now, one thing that's important to understand about Donald Trump here is that he has many times said one thing and done another. He has many times flip-flopped, especially on the issues that he campaigned on. And many times he's speaking to his base in order to galvanize support for him. And his rhetoric has been very aggressive against the press, sure. But that is mainly because that is the sentiment amongst many Americans. And they have lost credibility amongst a number of Americans. And it's not Donald Trump that people believe this. It's because of your own incompetence 
incompetence and record number of indiscretions against the people of this country. Especially when it comes to them not even doing their jobs, but just regurgitating PR pieces from special interests or governments. Not even fact checking it, but selling it to us as truth, like we saw with the WMDs in Iraq, the banker bailout, which they spread fear and panic about in order to give them a bailout. Whether it's them promoting activist reporting, being clearly biased and colluding with other political powers that they agree with, like we saw when Donna Brazil was fired at CNN for tipping off the Hillary Clinton campaign with the debate questions he was going to hear, over of course Bernie Sanders who never heard those questions, whether it's the constant race baiting that they push in order to divide and conquer our society, or whether it's just stupid idiotic headlines that have no effect in our life and are just complete lies. Like this CNN headline talking about how Trump just ended up pouring an entire box of food into a koi pond, which of course never highlighted how the Japanese Prime Minister also did the same thing. Just absolutely biased, idiotic journalism that actually doesn't affect the average American. And along with stupid incidences like this and way more that I could mention, this is why the average American does not trust you because ultimately you are just a propaganda tool of the establishment. So yeah, politicians are mean to you. Your viewership and readership is going completely down and yeah, People don't trust you, and it's not Donald Trump's fault. Take some gosh darn responsibility for yourself, and instead of using a hashtag and a PR propaganda model that you're pushing right now, actually do good work so people value you instead of crying for that value on social media. And this was just one point I had to make. The second point that I wanted to make about this very specific hashtag the majority of the news publications participating in today's hashtag are also mainly the ones who are actively lobbying for censorship of independent journalists and critical thought online. Of course, this being the competition that is putting them out of business. And a lot of these people with face value do not support a free press. Do not support the ability of independent creators to analyze, criticize, conduct journalism. That is a belief that they clearly do not have since a lot of these major news organizations are the ones actively calling for more online censorship. CNN has been actively nitpicking, calling companies, calling sponsors, specifically to de-platform other people in their market that they disagree with. And mainly because of them, we are seeing the recent purges by big online tech monopolies censoring voices that are critical or anti-establishment. And it didn't just stop with Alex Jones, which again, we've been reporting to you for a very long time that this will affect everyone, including people on the left, like we just saw a few moments ago, where not only Telesaur, but Occupy London have been completely taken down by Facebook and deleted from that public platform. Google has implemented an algorithm that censors people, especially against left-wing anti-war websites, and this will continue to get worse as people who are a part of the public discourse in the sphere where everyone talks about political issues are just being completely deleted and disappeared. And we've been telling you that this is going to happen all the way back in 2008 telling you that one day in the near future you may not be able to watch this video please don't take it for granted spread it far and wide and that day is today mainly because of this mainstream media push to censor independent creators on public platforms and then they have the audacity to sit here and lecture us about how self-important they are, how they're poor victims because of mean words, how they're under attack in these melodramatic editorials that they're releasing right now, instead of actually having any self-awareness, any responsibility, any value that they give to the people to actually demonstrate that? No, they have this stupid hashtag that is a lie. Now that is my personal opinion. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. And unlike these mainstream media companies, which predominantly censor comments that they don't like, we don't do that. So feel free to have an actual engaged, rational conversation in the comment section of this video, which of course, again, I will be answering within the first hour that this video comes out. You should never be afraid of speech. You should never try to censor speech. This is one of the core principles that we believe in. And again, one of the reasons why we're under attack and have been censored and soft censored for a number of years now. So again, you're 
support is more important than ever on wearechange.org forward slash donate and of course signing up on our email list which again is more important than you think we need to stay in contact with you guys if the worst happens and the best way of course to do that is signing up on the email list that we don't currently use yet again as an independent news organization our job is difficult for many reasons but we always come from the frame of what value we could give you with every video and also responsibility from when we're wrong because we're all human beings we all make mistakes and I have been wrong sometimes no human being is perfect but the best way to replace something you don't like is to be better than they are and that's the main idea that's the main premise that started we are changed as an independent news organization and it's been an incredible ride and we're gonna ride it until the wheels fall off or until we get deplatformed. hell even then I'm, I'm probably still gonna continue to do this somehow all the great accomplishments we had within the last few years was made possible by you and that's why I feel a debt of gratitude towards you and and every single broadcast by saying love you guys thank you again so much for watching stay tuned for a lot more